Hey everybody, it's Dr. Karen, and I wanted to answer a question about some teletherapy platforms. One of them being, can I use Skype for online therapy? So short answer, yes, you can. There is actually a version that you can use that allows you to get a BAA, which is the paperwork that you have to have signed that uh, makes you helps you to ensure that you are using the platform in a HIPAA compliant way. So I wanted to just share that really quickly that there is actually a way that you can use Skype for teletherapy sessions. So the overwhelming recommendation that I have been getting from talking to different teletherapy experts is that HIPAA is relaxing their guidelines right now. So if you have a platform that you're familiar with, just do what you need to do in order to get up and running as soon as possible for the time being during the pandemic. However, for the long haul, if you want to have a platform and know what the right way is to do this, you do want to make sure that you have that BAA. And I wanted to mention Skype because I've been talking a lot about Zoom and Google Meet, which are also great options, but I wanted to mention Skype as well because there is a version with Windows Teams that allows you to get that BAA and get you access to a number of different features for a, a price that is pretty affordable. So wanted to mention that to you and also mention that I have done an in-depth interview with a teletherapy expert named Tracy Sipple and it's up on my blog and we go into all things teletherapy platforms, ethics, therapy materials, and all of the things that you need to know to get up and running in teletherapy, whether you want to do this for something more permanent or if you're just wanting to get up and running during the pandemic. So just send me a direct message, say teletherapy interview. I'd love to share that with you.